I've been studying rats oh, for probably 25 years. But everyone knows about koalas and all the marsupials. No one knows about the rodents. People say you look like you study animals. <laughs> and, uh, you know, <laughs> I've got these large incisors like rodents do. <laughs> Water rats are Australia's biggest rodent. They are large, carnivorous, webbed feet, scary looking animals really. <laughs> Certainly if you're, a, if you're a black rat or um, any other rodent out there, you'd probably be pretty scared of a water rat. So they play the same sort of uh, role as otters in the Australian environment. So um, in that sort of semi-aquatic niche, swimming around, chasing freshwater and marine invertebrates, preying upon those sorts of organisms. Um, but they're a top predator in our system. Um, playing that same sort of role in preying upon all sorts of uh, smaller vertebrate animals. And then they've got this golden belly. I mean, that's what their scientific name means, um, Chrysogaster. Hydrome is Chrysogaster, that's their scientific name. It means um, water mouse with a golden belly. So they have this beautiful golden belly. I think a lot of the time people haven't really realised what water rats are. Um, a lot of people probably just see them and just think, oh my God, look at that rat, it's huge, and don't pay any more attention to it. And they just, a lot of people just see rats as rats. Rats are just rats. They're all rats, they're all the same rat. It's just one rat and they just vary in size. So water rats probably just slipped under the radar um, and people haven't, haven't seen them. Um, but um, we know from the past, people, when, people, when the plague hit Sydney, for example, um, people went on a rat killing frenzy and there was a bounty put on rats to try and get rid of rats in order to control the plague. And people were collecting water rats then um, not realising that these were not probably animals that carried the plague at all. Um, and they were just, you know, a native species swimming around doing what it does, but they were just caught up in the rat killing frenzy. And I think that probably partly still goes on around Sydney now. Probably people that live on the harbour foreshore have seen rats in the water and they just think, oh, there's a swimming rat, um, and don't realise that it is this water rat, a native species that's probably playing an important ecological role in the harbour foreshore systems. So we've been looking at what war rats do in the system around Sydney. We've been first of all trying to find out where they are because um, we don't really know where they are. They're hard to catch, they're hard to spot. So we've got lots of anecdotal reports. So we were trying to systematically work out exactly where they were around Sydney Harbour. And then at the same time work out where the introduced rats were, the black rat and brown rat and uh, try and find out if there's any association between the two. If we're seeing where you get high numbers of water rats, you're getting low numbers of, of black rats. And the idea is that these large carnivorous rats, these large carnivorous water rats, should be acting as predators on these smaller introduced rats and they're therefore playing some functional role in keeping those, those black rat numbers down. We were videoing these animals, we were putting cameras out to identify um, who was visiting these trays and we were using videos because it's important to be able to recognise who's who and you need the video footage for that and we got proof of concept basically we got the demonstration of the effect we were trying to find because on the screen we had a black rat uh, foraging at a tray but being very very wary and then a few seconds later we were wondering why this animal was being so wary and a few seconds later a water rat appeared on the scene and, and the black rat took off and that's exactly what we thought should be going on, this large carnivorous rat, basically taking the territory and anything else that's smaller and potentially food is not gonna be there. What I hope our results uh, will lead to is um, promoting water rats, promoting these native species, looking after the environment that they need because if we can keep those environments right for them, they'll play this ecological role of controlling black rats. Sydney doesn't really want black rats in its natural environments because they climb trees and kill birds, they carry a suite of diseases that impact on wildlife and humans and it's almost impossible to control black rats by traditional means because urban environments are full of black rats, they can move into the, uh, the natural environments. We need an ecological way of controlling them and it's the native species that can play this role and I think the results we've got so far has hinted that role that the the water rats are likely to play. So if we can look after water rats, we can potentially be controlling black rats.